Hey everyone, it's Brennan with BC Labs, and today I'm demoing my Quest 3, specifically Horizon Workroom setup. So here we have the pass-through, uh, all, this is all hand tracking controlled. I already uh, have Horizon Workroom set up. You usually need a link, like an App Lab link, I believe. I'll put it in the description below if I can. Oh, yeah, so, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let's get it back. All right, so you gotta get your desk defined. So I'm just doing it with my hand here. And boom. You do need to set level, like the floor. So just adjust that with using your hands. All right, so. Not really sure this blue little square if it's supposed to like let me pass through my keyboard. All right, allowing permissions. I don't know what my avatar looks like that. All right, so let's just go ahead and switch over to my or lock log in with my computer. It's kind of a pretty workroom, like a little environment. Come on, all right. And boom. So we've got two monitors. It has the option for a third virtual monitor, but I haven't set it up yet. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to pass through here. I'm trying to find my way through and boom. There's my desk. Forgive the little bit of mess here. Currently, it's just mirroring the monitors that are behind, but I'm trying to just kind of demo this out as an option to remove the monitors on my desk. Again, the, the grain is because pass-through is really only four megapixel cameras, dual cameras, and it's really light dependent. I don't have much light over my desk here. But the actual quality of the screens themselves is actually pretty excellent. You're not going to be able to see it from here. I'm going to probably have to do some other kind of screen capture to actually show how crisp the text is on the display because I think they do some compression when the Quest records its screen. I'm about to did I hit the virtual mod. Did I get it set up? No. Okay. So you can actually set up like meetings and, and take calls and all sorts of kind of stuff here. It's kind of wild. Um, come on, hand tracking. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add the other virtual monitor uh, if it'll cooperate. Overall, the tracking on hand tracking is actually fantastic, I, I, I must say. Uh, I've had a few quirks and qualms with it, but I think that's more because of the lighting. Again, my desk, I'm also sitting on the boundary of my room because I built this into a closet. I haven't figured out how to extend my play space into this little area. Um... But yeah, anyway, I was trying to figure out if you can use your controller as a, a cursor, but it looks like you can't. Uh, it's not really set up for for that kind of use case. You still have to use your mouse and keyboard. But it's still an excellent monitor mirror. Like, I'm, I'm very pleased. Like, the pass-through is just good enough to let you see where your hands are on your keyboard and mouse, uh, unless you have better lighting. But it's, that's that's all you really need, is to kind of just make sure your hands are where you think they are. Be able to take a drink, eat food. Again, it, it need, it, it, I feel like it's going to improve with updates, but it's it, you definitely need to temper your expectations on the pass-through. There's times I've been blown away, and there's times that I've been like, eh, it could be better. But it's definitely leaps and bounds ahead of the Quest 2. And I'm going to try to to set up workrooms, do a workroom video, although I'm sure there's already some out there, to kind of show you a comparison. The hand tracking on this Quest 3, though, absolutely excellent. Like, I've used hand tracking a lot on the Quest 2. I was just fiddling with it over the weekend before I received my, my Quest 3, and it is just... I barely use my controllers on the Quest 3. I mean, I'm sure they're excellent, but it's just it's just so seamless and, and snappy to use your hands. I'm just going to pop uh, Godot up here for just a brief moment, just to kind of show what the UI looks like on here. Hope it looks all right on the recording. This is the game engine I use just to kind of tinker around. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to kind of show off how Horizons looks on the Quest 3. I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Uh, I hope to do some more content, so check it out.